is the 4x4 lace closure wig. I tried to like spice it up just a little bit and not do the actual traditional lace, you know, method meltdown type of thing. I use my front as the leave out and I basically just place the wig just a little bit back from my actual hairline. And I just covered up the lace, made it black actually in the front so you can't see that bright color right behind my hairline so this is what i have here today it is the 20 inch 22 20 inch whatever i did cut it a little bit and um it is very gorgeous i'm talking about like uh, is is it given girl is it given to you hey y'all so today i will be reviewing also installing um a wig a 4x4 closure from IC Beauty here and in today's video I've also um wanted to tell you guys the secret that I have on installing this wig without the glue and all the lace and really much blending your hair and I was just like for my natural queens out there who don't necessarily like the lace all that we're gonna be blending our leave out slight leave out with our wig. This wig is actually worn and it's um what is it called? What does it say? It's a couple days old now. Probably like seven days old. I had it for a week already. And I just wanted to really give you guys a genuine review on how I feel about the IC Mongolian Kinky Curly 22 inch hair, but I cut it to 20 inches simply just because I wanted to frame my face and I usually go a little longer because I know I'm gonna cut the hair because I want to frame my face. The shipping is you know fast this video is not sponsored i just really want to give a genuine review on how i feel about this hair you know sponsor me later um it comes with a wig cap please don't fall it comes with a wig cap you know some lashes as always these ones are actually all right but i don't really like super long lashes i like the more natural look and then it comes with how to take care of the hair this girl is always so pretty girl i follow you on instagram you are gorgeous and yeah, it comes in the box here oh so right now all i have in my hair is braided up into like six different braids Okay, this is the six braids, I believe. Two, three, four, five, six. These are the braids. And then for the little trick that I want y'all to do is have a section. This is like a little crusty because I use gel and gel, you know, it gets a little crusty. So I don't be saying that I had dandruff. It's just the gel dried. We wash it later. But um, just leave like a half inch of hair out right here. And what you want to do with this half inch of hair, you basically want to just take it and just twist it, but twist it very lightly. And by the way, my hair is blow dried out, so it is straighter. It's not as kinky curly as it would be if it was just in its natural shape. You know what I'm trying to say? And we're going to stuff it into the cap. But what I wanted to say is when you have curly hair, you don't necessarily need your braids to be super flat because curly hair is not super flat take this a little further back a transparent lace but i did cut it and if you see what i did i just cut it all off and then i cut i don't know kind of ripped it a little bit but i did um make the lace actually black i made it black so it could blend in with the first part of my hair um it's curly hair so it does after it dries on your head it will like you know clump up and the curls will get a little tangled with each other but you know that's natural hair for you it it's not too bad with shedding it's not too bad with uh combing it out as long as you just have some water and a little bit of muse you're gonna be good very 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 secure if i was a person if y'all was just you or anybody i would walk with it just like this you know what i'm trying to say just like this this is absolutely gorgeous actually we're gonna kind of shift the wig a little to the side because i like mine to be a little off-centered simply just because I do have some bangs that I cut but I don't want it to be super centered in my head so let me just hurry up and put this thing on in the back stuff my braids all the way through it make sure the comb is actually secured stuff like that and then we have it on but what we're going to do I don't know if I could really see but that is the lace right there you know what I'm trying to say I wish I could cut that off a little more and hide it. But this is the lace. And you see how that one piece of leave out, it creates free room for hair to be moved. What I like to do is, you know, smooth it out. 
smooth it out under there. And we're just gonna smooth it that way, under the wig. Just like that, that way. Now what we're gonna do with that leave out is smooth it this way also. And we create some type of part slash illusion right there. You see that? And that's gonna be the start of the part. That is what I'm doing like that. And then what I do is move the lace again so where the part of the lace begins is where the part of my illusion part has begun. If you don't understand, you understand what I'm trying to say. It's basically you trying to line up this lace with this part that you just created. And what you keep on doing is just smooth the hair back. That's that hair that you left out, by the way. And then you just go like that, right? You, you, I'm gonna do my edges and I'm gonna be back. Use your real hair edges. And that's what creates the more natural look because I don't know, something about the lace for me, I haven't mastered it just yet to pull, do the full, to do the full lace front type of, you know, where is my lace at? So I just put it behind my hairline, just a little bit, just an inch behind. And it gives you a much more natural look as if this is actually your hair. You know what I'm saying? People would be like, oh my God, that's your hair, right? <laughs> it's not my hair. Part. You see that illusion part? It's not a real part, but since I'm brushing my hair two different ways, it creates a part. I don't, it's kind of hard to explain this. I kind of just came up with it just like that, right? So it's like your real hair and the hair is like covering it. Pull the lace a little bit closer to it. Pull the lace like that, or the wig a little bit closer. And you see how you can see this is the lace right there. So what you're gonna wanna do, I just take something. And you wanna literally hide your lace by pulling your hair up just a little. Like that, right? Most people are like, why would you do that? No. You just need a little hair just to pull up. Not even all the way out. Just to hide in front of the lace. And we just smooth it out like that. So therefore it looks like a curl. And you can't see you can't see it's it's all an illusion. So you can't see that lace band or that's why, that's why I colored it black, so it can match with my hair. But it looks like this. I wish I could get a more in-depth. It just looks like, I don't know, it comes out of, I, if you see it, this is what I do. This is what I do. I don't know how to explain it really much better. But you guys were asking for it on TikTok. You guys were asking for it on Instagram. And this is basically what it is. And that's how I, I love this hair. Um, it's giving me very much 3B, 3C texture. It's not giving me very much 4 in the 4 category at all. Um, if they, on the website, if they make you believe that it's 4, it's definitely not 4. Um, yeah, and this is what I do. But for this hair, I did um, use water on it and I do diffuse it. So, this is what it looks like. And you literally, bruh, this looks like real hair. Let me do my edges some more. It's giving me very much... This is my natural hair, but this is a 4x4 lace closure wig from Icy Beauty Mongolian Kinky Curly. What is it? Mongolian Kinky Curly hair. Mongolian Kinky Curly hair, yeah. It was in 22 inches. I cut it just a little bit to frame my face a little more, give me a little bang. And it's now currently sitting at probably like 21, 20 inches. People always ask me, why do you cut hair if you just bought it? Well, the reason why I cut the hair is because the ends are a little bit stringy just slightly not too much but um if you kind of want more length if you want more length just get it longer because you might need to cut a little bit off because i don't like when the hair is like super stringy and the ends just look like that all the ends were probably looking like this it was just like super stringy like that and i like them to look a little more like full you know what I'm if you know if you're natural you know what i'm trying to say but yeah, this is literally all that I do. So just to give a rundown, just one more time, you braid your hair back, right? You braid your hair back, 
and you leave an inch or a half of inch of leave out in the front but you don't you don't actually leave it out you just twist it back so you can maneuver the hair you know in a braid is stuck so you're maneuvering the hair around the lace and when you put the lace wig on you kind of take just a slight bit out just to cover and it's not even all the way it's literally like a I didn't even pull it out all the way it's just to cover it just to hide that oh this is where the lace is about to start you know what I'm trying to say because in real natural hair you don't see parts you don't have a big ass part like that you just have a natural look I don't know but yeah that is basically all that I do I actually most definitely love this hair I would love if they could send me more and I would love if you guys could recommend me more um wigs to like try out and do the same thing i might do something that's way longer or i might want to color this hair um for the most part if you guys got any other questions about this wig please let me know and if you need another video on how i did what i did please let me know too it's very simple i i have no lace out on my actual forehead but uh yeah and i will see you guys in the next one Mwah, thank you